a very good morning and jai hind dear students how are you all i hope you all must be fine and doing great so let us begin with our video in last video i was explaining you the chapter the rat trap and continuing with the same chapter i am here again okay so in the last uh, let me quickly have give you a review of what we have done last uh, till last in last we have seen that there was a man whose work who was who used to sell the rat traps and uh, 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 he used to sell rat traps and uh, once uh, he was he was a kind of a ragamuffin uh, he was a vagabond who used to roam here and there kind of a wanderer and he uh, one day he took shelter in an old man's house and uh, the old man you know being very kind to him has shown him his amount 30 kronors and everything and next day uh, when they both went for the work he stole those 30 kronors and now he's trying to hide himself and in that process he entered a mill a forge and uh, there he had an encounter with the uh, master of that mill iron master and uh, that master misunderstood him as nils olof and uh, he invited him to come to his home but uh, because uh, he was a thief the man is a thief really the rat trap seller he was very much afraid because that iron master was in army also so he was very much afraid so finally he sent his daughter and uh, he asked her to uh, tell nils olof to come to their home now moving forward it i'm starting from here uh, let me mark it for you to make it easy i'm starting from here it was not more than half an hour before they heard the sound of carriage wheels outside the forge and a new guest came in but this time it was not the iron master he had sent his daughter apparently hoping that she would have better powers of persuasion than he himself so i already told in my last video persuasion means to convince so the finally uh, iron master's daughter came uh, to convince uh, nils olof to come to their home she entered followed by a wallet carrying on his arms a big fur coat she was not at all pretty but seemed modest and quite shy in the forge everything was just as it had been earlier in the evening the master blacksmith and his apprentice still sat on their bench and iron and charcoal still glowed in the furnace the stranger had wait the stranger had stretched himself out on the floor and lay with a piece of pig iron under his head and his hat pulled down over his eyes as soon as the young girl caught sight of him she went up and lifted his hat the man was evidently used to sleeping with one eye open he jumped up abruptly and seemed to be quite frightened okay so now let's see what is happening here so the very first word which you should know the meaning wallet wallet means personal wallet means personal attendant wallet parking hoti hai na malls vagera mein okay so wallet i told you personal attendant modest means humble and apprentice means learner so the iron master's daughter entered the mill with her attendant who was carrying a big fur coat she was uh you know, she was uh, you know uh, a humble girl who was very shy when she entered everyone was busy the same way as they had been earlier the blacksmith was still sitting on the bench with his trainees and was working on the iron she went up to the peddler and lifted his hat the peddler slept with one eye open and as soon as he saw her he got shocked and jumped up okay so now see what conversation is taking place here my name is edla williamsa said the young girl my father came home and said that you wanted to sleep here in the forge tonight and then i asked permission to come and bring you home to us i am so sorry captain that you are having such a hard time 
so what she is doing here she introduced herself as adela williamson and was sorry to hear about the hard times that he was facing who was facing rat trap seller she explained to him that she had come to take him home with her father's permission okay now let's see she looked at him compassionately with her heavy eyes and then she noticed that the man was afraid either he has stolen something or else he has escaped from jail she thought and added quickly you may be sure captain that you will be allowed to leave us just as freely as you came only please stay with us over christmas eve so here you can see how good she was in convincing the people okay she was very good at convincing the people because uh, she understood his condition and then she has presented another offer in front of him so let us see uh, there is a word compassionately compassionately here it is you can see if you can see here it is compassionately compassionately means showing sympathy for others so adela had sympathy for whom for the peddler but then she noticed that the reason behind his fear could be that either he had committed robbery or jail break so she said that he was free to leave their house at any time but she wanted him to stay with the family just for christmas eve now let us move forward she said this in such a friendly manner that the rat trap peddler must have felt confidence in her it would never have occurred to me that you would bother with me yourself miss he said i will come at once so edla was talking to peddler in a very nice way and earlier nobody has spoken to him in such a nice way okay so uh, the way edla spoke to him made him believe in her and he got ready to go with her okay he accepted the fur coat which the wallet handed him with a deep bow threw it over his rags and followed the young lady out to the carriage without granting the astonished blacksmith so much as a glance but while he was riding up to the manor house he had evil forebodings okay so the word again astonished means greatly surprised and forebodings means a foretelling future predict karna that is known as forebodings the peddler you remember the, the, the wallet was carrying a fur coat they were carrying that fur coat for the rat trap seller only so the peddler wore the fur coat offered by the wallet and started following the lady who's this lady edla williamson he didn't even bother to notice the other people in the room on the way to the house the peddler felt that as he had committed a crime he would be punished for it so these thoughts were still there in the peddler's mind that i have made i have committed a crime and i will be punished for it why the devil did i take the fellow's money he thought now i'm sitting in the trap and will never get out of it so okay so now see so many thoughts were coming when he was on his way to the manor's house he started cursing himself that if he had not stolen the money he would not have got trapped like this the money was a bait which had led him into a trap so finally uh, these were the thoughts which were coming into his mind or he realized his mistake in fact the next day was christmas eve and when the iron master came into the dining room for breakfast he probably thought with satisfaction of his old regimental comrade whom he had run across so unexpectedly first of all we must see to it that he gets a little flesh on his bones he said to his daughter who was busy at the table and then we must see that he gets something else to do than to run around the country 
selling rat traps so here they are talking they both the father and the daughter they are having a discussion about the rat trap seller how uh, they they were discussing uh, how they can improve the condition the worst condition of this rat trap seller what uh, what help they can give to him okay and uh, here flesh on his bones means here it means that the seller should eat good food to gain some flesh on his body so the next day was christmas eve both the iron master and his daughter were at the dining table the iron master said to his daughter that they had to do something good for the peddler and should try to find some better job for him okay so the next day was christmas eve both the iron master and his daughter were at the dining table the iron master said to his daughter that they had to do something good for the peddler and should try to find some better job for him so that he should not sell these rat traps it is queer here it is queer that things have gone downhill with him as badly as that said the daughter last night i did not think there was anything about him to show that he had once been an educated man you must have patience my little girl said the father as soon as he gets clean and dressed up you will see something different last night he was naturally embarrassed the tramp manners will fall away from him with the tramp clothes so queer means strange this is the word queer queer means strange here it is queer means strange embarrassed means to uh, have a awkward or very shy condition okay so the iron master's daughter uh the iron master's daughter uh said that it was strange what was strange to see that the peddler had been in such hard times and was doubtful who was doubtful iron master's daughter she was doubtful whether the man had been educated hearing this the iron master clarified the iron master father he clarified his daughter that beta don't think like this way it was due to his bad condition you find him in such condition and you think that he is uneducated but no it's not like that he also added that the man would behave differently after getting clean and dressed up he said that no he is an educated man just because he is wearing uh, dirty clothes you find him like that way okay now let us move forward just as he said this the door opened and the stranger entered yes now he was truly clean and well dressed the wallet had bathed him cut his hair and shaved him moreover he was dressed in a good looking suit of clothes which belonged to the iron master he wore a white shirt and a starched collar and whole shoes so starched collar means starch is the stuff that makes your shirt collar look crisp and fresh so same was his shirt and whole shoes means proper fitted shoes so while both father and daughter they were discussing about the peddler he entered the room with the wallet he was looking clean as he had bathed and his hair had been cut by the wallet he was wearing the iron master's clothes and shoes a shirt with a starched collar and shoes which covered the entire feet so he was looking he was looking groomed today okay but although his guest was now so well groomed the iron master did not seem pleased wo kuch nahi tha iron master usse dekh ke can you tell me the reason why yes slowly and slowly it will be disclosed see he looked at him with puckered brow and it was easy to understand that when he had seen the strange fellow in the uncertain reflection from the furnace he might have made a mistake but that now when he stood there in broad daylight 
it was impossible to mistake him for an old acquaintance. What does this mean? He thundered. The stranger made no attempt to dissimulate. He saw at once that the splendor had come to an end. So now, dear students, uh, this paragraph is having few words which needs to be uh, told. First of all, this groomed. Groomed means ready and nicely, perfectly ready. Okay. Then there is another word, puckered. So, puckered means wrinkle. Wrinkle. Dissimulate. Uh, there is a word, dissimulate. Dissimulate means to pretend. Act karna, to act. Okay. And uh, splendor means, here it is. Splendor means luxury. And thundered means, thundered. You all might be knowing the meaning of thundered. Thundered means make a loud noise. So now let us see what happened. The iron master seemed very angry to see his well-groomed guest. Why? Because he could make out his appearance well and realize that he was not his comrade. Comrade means associate, friend. He understood that he mistook some stranger as his old friend. He screamed at him and asked him to explain. The peddler knew that the iron master could make out that he was not his old friend. As he already knew this, he was ready for the consequences and felt that the luxurious treatment was about to end. See, he was mentally prepared. Who was mentally pre prepared? Rat trap seller. He was mentally prepared that because I am. It's daylight now. Uh, the uh, iron master is definitely going to recognize me that I am not his friend. So he was mentally prepared and he knew the consequences. He knew that whatever luxurious treatment I was getting, it's going to be ended. But. Iron Master was not ready for this shock. Okay. So now let us see what explanation is given by the rat trap seller to the Iron Master. Because he said, na, explain. He said, explain. So uh, now he is explaining. It is not my fault, sir, he said. I never pretended to be anything but a poor trader. And I pleaded and begged to be allowed to stay in the forge. But no harm has been done. At worst, I can put on my rags again and go away. Well, said the iron master, hesitating a little. It was not quite honest either. You must admit that. And I should not be surprised if the sheriff would like to have something to say in the matter. See, the situation is getting tensed here now. <laughs> How? Let us see. Hesitating means to be reluctant. Sheriff. Sheriff is a word which is used for uh, chief executive officer of crown in England. Basically for police or a chief kind of a people. Okay, sheriff. So the peddler tried to explain what he explained. That he should not be blamed for all this. He said that he was just begging for stay in the forge. He said, I, I was begging to you that let me, uh, I don't want to come to your house. Uh, let me be here in the forge. He also said that he had not harmed anyone and was ready to wear his torn clothes, rags. Rags means torn clothes. Again, to this, the iron master hesitated and said that the peddler had not been quite honest and so, he wanted to call the sheriff. Sheriff means the officials or the police. Okay. The tramp took a step forward and struck the table with his fist. Now I am going to tell you Mr. Iron Master how things are. He said. This whole world is nothing but a big rat trap. All the good things that are offered to you are nothing but the cheese, rings and bits of pork set out to drag a poor fellow into trouble. And if the sheriff comes now and locks me up for this, then you, Mr. Iron Master, 
must remember that a day may come when you yourself may want to get a big piece of pork and then you will get caught in the trap. So he was very annoyed. Rat trap seller. Okay. So fist. Let me tell you the meaning of the word first. Fist means. Fist means a person's hand bent. Mutti ji se bolte hai. Aapko baan lete na. That is known as. So the rat trap seller gets so enraged upon hearing about the sheriff. Jaisi usne suna ki yaha pe the iron master is talking about. You know to call the sheriff. He struck the table very hard with his fist. He said that this world is a rat trap and all the good things are a bait, just like the rinse of cheese. And the small pieces of pork are a bait for the rat, which are offered to trap it. Not only this, he also pointed out to the iron master that he may Today be imprisoned by the sheriff. But one day, the iron master will also get trapped like this. The iron master began to laugh. That was not so badly said, my good fellow. Perhaps we should let the sheriff alone on Christmas Eve. But now get out of here as fast as you so the iron master didn't like the peddler's words at all and decided not to call the sheriff. So the idea of calling the police, it's been escaped. He asked the peddler to leave at once, immediately. Okay. But just as the man was opening the door, the daughter said, I think he ought to stay with us today. I don't want him to go. And with that, she went and closed the door. What in the world are you doing? said the father. The daughter stood there quite embarrassed and hardly knew what to answer. That morning, she had felt so happy when she thought how home-like and Christmassy she was going to make things for the poor hungry wretch. Wretch means miserable person. She could not get away from the idea all at once. And that was why she had interceded for the vagabond. Interceded means intervened. Okay. See, uh, till today everything was fine. Last night, till last night the things were very uh, good. Um, Edna also ha was happy. In fact, uh, um, Iron Master was also happy to have his old friend. But when they get to know the reality that he's not his old friend, he's all of, uh, he, they got very annoyed and uh, the Iron Master call, talked about calling the police. And so, so uh, when the Iron Master's daughter, she was watching everything. So now what happened? Uh, um, Iron Master asked the rat trap seller to leave the room, to leave the house at once. So when he was leaving, all of a sudden, Iron Master's daughter stopped him, stopped the peddler. She wanted to help the poor fellow. Since morning she was planning how she could make the peddler's day happy on the occasions of Christmas. Therefore, she went against her father's will and stopped him by closing the door. I am thinking of this stranger here, said the young girl. He walks and walks the whole year long. And there is probably not a single place in the whole country where he is welcome and can feel at home. So here in these lines, she is understanding his situation. How understanding Edla was, you can see. Wherever he turns, he is chased away. She is saying that nobody understands these sort of people. Nobody welcomes them. And uh, wherever they go, people just shoo them away. Okay. Always he is afraid of being arrested and cross-examined. I should like to have him enjoy a day of peace with us here. Just one in the whole year. So how kind, how good she was. The Iron Master mumbled something in his beard. He could not bring himself to oppose her. It was all a mistake, of course, she continued. But anyway, I don't think you ought to chase away a human being. 
whom we have asked to come here and to whom we have promised Christmas cheer. So, she tried to explain the difficulties faced by the beggar. She said that he didn't have any house. Who didn't have any house? Peddler. He was turned out from wherever he went and he always kept on running in order to safeguard himself from being arrested. She said that she wanted him to enjoy Christmas with peace as they had promised him. They should not send away a man on Christmas. The man whom they had promised happiness on the day. The Iron Master was not able to find an answer to go against his daughter. So, you can see how kind Adela was. Okay? So, uh, now let us move forward. Yes. You do preach worse than a parson, said the Iron Master. I only hope you won't have to regret this. The young girl took the stranger by the hand and led him up to the table. Now sit down and eat, she said, for she could see that her father had given in. Preach means to give advice and parson means churchman. Okay? The only thing which he could say to his daughter was that she was trying good at convincing others better than the priest at the church. But he also warned her that hopefully her decision would not bring any adverse effect on them. He was worried. He was in tension because he knew that they are keeping a stranger in their house. Uh, he may cause some sort of harm to them. The girl took the peddler to the table and offered him food. She saw that her father had consented to her wish. The man with the rat trap said not a word. He was mum. He was quiet. He did not utter a single word. Okay. He only sat down and helped himself to the food. Time after, taking, uh, time, after time, he looked at the young girl who had interceded for him. Why had she done it? What could the crazy idea be? See, the peddler didn't say any word and started eating quietly. Though he was doubtful about her intentions. Because I told you, na, nobody has done good to him. So he used to think wrong first about the people. So similarly, he was having a doubt about Edla's intentions also. And he was wondering why she stopped him. After the Christmas Eve, at Ramzo passed just at as it always had. The stranger did not cause any trouble because he did not he did nothing but sleep. The whole forenoon he lay on the sofa in one of the guest rooms and slept at one stretch. At noon they woke him up so that he could have his share of the good Christmas fare, but after that he slept again. It seemed as though for many years he had not been able to sleep as quietly and safely as here at Ramzo. The peddler went to sleep after having food. That was his routine. He did not cause harm to anyone and lay down on the sofa in the guest house. He was once woken up in the afternoon. But after having his lunch, he again went to sleep. So it was like as if he had never got the chance to sleep peacefully.
as he had got at this place so uh, it seems as if he is getting uh, he's re uh, getting a kind of a peace here in this place and he is just relaxing so we are covering till here in today's video a little bit portion is still left which we are going to cover in next video okay so i hope the chapter must be clear to you because i am explaining it line by line if still you have any problem you can contact me in your doubt clearance sessions or in zoom class you can ask me uh just to give you uh, just to remind you once again that corona is spreading its wings like anything so please be at home stay secure stay safe please 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 do not come out of your house unnecessarily read your books make them friends and enjoy slowly and gradually you will start developing interest in reading your stories so till i'll meet you in my next video till then take care bye bye